approximating distributions going from a binomial distribution to a normal distribution. So a normal approximation to the binomial. So in this triangle, we're starting with a binomial distribution, and if certain conditions are met, we're going to use a normal approximation. So we're going from binomial to normal. In the normal distribution, we need the mean and the variance, so we will calculate the mean and the variance for the binomial distribution and use those values in here. We're going from a discrete distribution to a continuous one, so a continuity correction is required. Example 1. We have a binomial distribution with a very large number of trials, so using probability tables for the binomial distribution is not possible, and using the binomial formula to calculate the probability that x is at most 150 is impractical. There are too many calculations. So using the exact binomial distribution is not an option here. So we have to look for an approximation. The first condition, n times p, must be greater than 5. Here's n, here's p, multiply them, we get 160. So this condition is met. The second condition, n times q, must be greater than 5. Q is the probability of failure, so it's 1 minus 0 0.16. So n times q will give 840, which is more than 5, so the second condition is also met. Because both conditions are met, we can use the normal approximation to the binomial distribution. In the formula book, on page 7, we have formulae for the mean and the variance. So using these formulae, we can work out the mean and variance for our binomial distribution. So the mean of 160 goes here. The variance is 134.4, and that goes here. The probability for less than or equal to 150 needs a continuity correction. We're adding a half, so this becomes 150.5. So the probability that y is less than or equal to 150.5, or you can write this as y less than 150.5, emitting the equals. From here onwards, we need to standardize the 150.5 do a sketch of the normal distribution, use tables, and then calculate the probability. So standardizing the 150.5, we subtract the mean, which is 160, and then we divide by the standard deviation. This value here is a variance, so we need to square root it. And here is our z value. So we're now looking for the probability that z is less than or equal to minus 0 0.819. So we're shading to the left to get this. So now we go to the normal tables and look up 0 0.819. So for z, here is 0 0.8, 1. So far we have this probability. We need to know what to add to this. So 0 0.819, which means we need to add 25 here to get 0 0.7935. Clearly this is not the probability for this region. We've shaded less than a half of the sketch, so we need to do 1 minus. We can compare the 
approximation here with the exact probability that we would have got using this binomial distribution. A computer model gave the following answer. So what you see here is the exact binomial distribution and the exact probability is 0 0.2072. The normal approximation gave 0 0.2065, a very good approximation. Example 2. The number of trials here is really large and the largest value of n in the OCR formula book is 30, so we can't use probability tables. Perhaps we can use the binomial formula. The first part of the formula is NCR. N is 150, and then we've got 57 here. 150C57 gives the math error. The value is too large for the calculator to handle. So using the formula is not an option. So now we have to use an approximation. To use a normal approximation, both of these two conditions need to be met. So 150 times 0 0.4 n times p is 60. So this condition is met. And n times q, the probability of failure, so 150 times 0 0.6 is 90. That's more than 5, so the second condition is also met. We can work out the mean and the variance for the binomial distribution using these two formulae, page 7 of the OCR formula book. So we get the following normal distribution, mean and variance from here, continuity corrections applied, minus a half and plus a half. So to work out the probability of between two values, we need to work out separately the probability that we have less than or equal to 56.5 and the probability of less than or equal to 57.5. And the continuity correction was applied because this is discrete, the binomial, and the normal is continuous. So two separate calculations, standardizing on each side. We have the following z values. Then we go to the normal tables and look up these z values. So we've uh, had to do 1 minus to each of these probabilities that we've looked up from uh, the tables because less than a half of the sketch on each side has been shaded, so we do 1 minus. Now finally we need to subtract these two probabilities from each other. It will be the largest one minus the smallest one to give this. The exact probability using this binomial distribution, so without an approximation, from our computer model is 0 0.05907 is very close to this value so this is a very good approximation